Do you know that if you purchase 12 mm high tensile iron rods, it is better than 16 mm mild steel rods? In this video, we are going to talk about the latest prices of iron rods in Ghana, especially since there's a scam going on that you need to know. So stick to the end of the video where we are going to tell you what the latest scam is when it comes to iron rods. Let's get straight into it. Today, a ton of iron rods is selling between 6,300 to as much as 10,600 Ghana CDs. But which of them is selling for that much? Let me know where you are watching from and if you purchased iron rods recently so that we can compare prices. The reason why we do this video is to help people to know the true price of building materials so that they don't get cheated. Now with that said, let's go into the price of mild steel iron rod. Today, the 10 millimeter iron rod, a ton is selling for 6,300 Ghana CDs. If you want an individual unit, it's selling for 35 CDs. So one single unit of like a 10 millimeter like this, the whole length is selling for 35 CDs. The 11.5 single unit is selling for 48 CDs. The 12 millimeter single unit is selling for 57.60 Ghana CDs. The 14 millimeter is selling for 75.80 Ghana CDs, while the 16 millimeter is selling for 102.90 Ghana CDs. Now, a ton of the 11.5, the 12, the 14, and the 16 millimeters are going to be sold to you at about 7,200 Ghana CDs. Some places have even reported as much as 7,600 Ghana CDs. So again, I want you to comment where you are watching from, where you purchase your iron rod, and how much it costs you per ton in the individual piece. Now, if you can afford it, I would advise that you purchase high tensile iron rods where the 16 millimeters is selling for 10,600 Ghana CDs per ton, and the individual unit is selling for 200 Ghana CDs. The 12 millimeter is selling for 112.80 Ghana CDs. Again, 10,600 Ghana CDs per ton. Now, somebody would ask, at which age of my building project am I going to use high tensile, 40 millimeters, 60 millimeters, etc.? Oh, let me just buy the highest sized iron rods and then I'll be safe. But it doesn't work that way. Because you know that if you purchase 12 mm high tensile iron rods, it is better than 16 mm mild steel rods. So there's significant difference in the sizes and then the tensile strength. So the question is why do we even need iron rods in a building project or in a concrete mix? The thing is that concrete is for structural reinforcement and iron rods become like the thing that really holds it together because concrete is excellent when it comes to compression that's why here compressive strength at 42.5 r and all those things we did a whole video where we went to the laboratories of super stem and they explained in details how they test for compressive strength of concrete now concrete can withstand that compression naturally but then concrete it also bends like it bends and all all that so the iron rods are there to put tensile strength there that means that the bending force or action based on the load on your columns your beams and stuff like that your slabs that iron rod is what is holding it in place making sure that it doesn't bend and crack and so if you go and put smaller sized iron rods where the bigger ones are supposed to be essentially those smaller ones are not able to carry that load and that's why your building might be affected in one way or the other cracks might happen or the building may even collapse so what is the point here when do you need 10 millimeters 12 14 16 20 i would say that if you are going for the mild steel then you should go for 20 or 25 mm when you are going to do foundation for duplexes you are doing like multi-complex story buildings or today you don't plan to do like like maybe three floors and that's what a lot of people do right they come to us during the consultation sessions and say oh their house the architectural drawing was for let's say ground floor and then the first floor on top of it but then they realize they got more money and stuff like that and now they want to do a third floor on top of it which was not part of the original intention your architect might have recommended certain column sizes and stuff like that strengths that you are supposed to get you decided that okay maybe i'll use 16 14 for my foundation but then later you decided to make it a four-story building Building. those rods that you used were not adequate they were not sufficient for the kind of expansion works that you want to do so my advice is anybody who today you are starting a building project but you might have a change of heart or mind and in the future decide to add on to it their load you need stronger rods to be able to contain it. I hope it makes sense. However, if you are doing like your normal one-story building, you can do 16 millimeters, 14. But I told you about a scam at the start of this video. The thing is that many people, including you who is watching, when you go and you say you are buying 14 millimeters or 16 millimeters or even 20 millimeters, there's no way that you can measure 
to see that this is actually 16 millimeters or 14 millimeters unless you take some calipers and stuff like that most people don't have that right so the scam that has come up nowadays is that people are buying the 16 they are giving them 14 or sometimes 12 and it's just crazy you know people are paying for 20 they are getting 16 14 because you don't know how do you get over this one you can do the hardcore one of taking your calipers and going to measure which a lot of people will not allow you to do anyways so the way for you to actually know that what you are getting is the right one which most lay people cannot tell because when you go and they've bundled all the rods at the merchant site it's difficult for you to tell the one you can take like a measuring tape or some calipers if they would allow you to any good merchant who is worth his salt should be able to allow you to go and measure the second one is to just do your visual comparison so for example many times you will not just go and buy maybe 14 millimeters your engineer will tell you that maybe buy 10 millimeters and 12 millimeters obviously the 10 millimeters should be smaller or the 12 millimeters should be thicker i believe that makes sense so that's another way of knowing now now, there are some of the rods if they are from really good brands you see that there are some ribs on them and there are markings some brands actually put the size on the rods because generally people are selling the wrong ones to people so now the good companies to distinguish themselves are putting the markings on the rods themselves so you can inspect that however another scam that they are doing now which is just crazy eh, is that so at the top they can put the genuine ones there so you are buying like 60 millimeters you see maybe 20 or 40 or 160 millimeters at the top then at the bottom they'll put 12 millimeters and 10 millimeters so when you get home you too you just buy it and you probably move away but if you are like some of us who go to construction site you notice that ah, the ones on top were thicker the ones below were smaller you need to check all these things so what you can do is to measure at random don't just go and measure what is at the top usually when you do that they will scam you so measure some at random tell them to remove some do this especially if you are buying like large quantities obviously if you are buying 10 pieces and stuff like that nobody has time for that but if you are buying tons at a go then you want to make sure that you are doing some of these checks now as a general rule the 10 millimeters is the size of a pen like a big pen if you're in Ghana you know what a big pen is the 12 millimeters is the size of a mark so if you use markers you should be able to know like not a thick one so those markers which are slightly bigger than pens that they use to write on boards and stuff like that. I don't know what the proper word is then the 16 millimeters is like the size of your index finger though my index finger is very small but an average person sized index finger and then the 20 millimeters is like the size of your thumb right so if you compare these the thickness right that's how it should be 20 millimeters 16 millimeters thickness the 12 millimeters that of a marker and the 10 millimeters that of a pen now in addition to all these things i've also seen a scam where they sell rusted iron rod to people because when you, you are sitting in the diaspora you don't have time to come to ghana and come and check all these things so they will sell anything to you and if the person that uh, supervising your project is not very serious about quality assurance and meticulous about some of these things they'll just go they give them the rusted ones and then they bring you home and they use it for your building project especially the masons the artists as they, they don't care they're not the ones going to live in the building so you you need to be very serious about where you purchase your building materials from if the person has a record like go there once in a while go and check or if the person is going to buy for you let them take pictures or videos and stuff like that like be concerned though especially if you are going to live in it even if you are not going to live in it and you are going to like rent it out or sell it to be concerned about the safety of people who live in the building the reason why buying rusted iron rods is so dangerous is that rust eats away at the steel right of the rod and so it reduces the size i remember we've established already that size is super important because it determines the load that the concrete can take the slab and all those things the load that has been added to it before it is bent deformed cracked etc as a rust especially people who live in the coast so in a crowd like this there's the pram pram people a lot of the diaspora people are moving to pram pram and stuff like that you need to be very wary about buying your rods when they're expired or not using them immediately and then the salty ends stuff like that makes it rust really really quickly so the beach areas a lot of you guys are moving towards the coast be very concerned about that so those are some of the scams that you need to be aware of now again comment and let me know when was the last time you purchased your rod how much did it cost you per ton and if you want to know the individual prices per ton and all that we have a whole video on that so we are going to leave it in the description thanks be brave